Hello fellow robots out there in internet land, I am Silvertron, and welcome to the next episode of Titan Craft, and Cash is shooting me! <laughs> Season 6, here on Tango Tech's Patreon server. And as always guys, if you want to join me and this amazing community on this amazing Minecraft adventure, all the information you need is down in the description. Cash just hit a wall, I saw that. She doesn't think I saw it, but I saw it. I saw it, guys. Um, so, it's literally the day after Christmas. Some might call it Boxing Day, but I live in America, and we don't we don't have that as a, as a thing. So, it's December 26th. Uh, I'm still on uh, vacation mode right now, so I'm taking advantage of everything. Uh, and I'm going to do some building at our base today. We're going to do some stuff and things over here, because it needs it. So... Yeah, there's walls, guys. We got some walls going in now, and hopefully now the base can finally start taking shape and smack. Uh, there we go. That's good. That's all good. Um, so what I have in store today is just to do... Uh, I don't know what I want to do. I, ha I know what I want to do. I don't know how far I'm going to get today, and... Hi, Rain. How are you? Yeah, Optifine's giving me some issues, so I had to turn weather back on, which is very sad. Anyway, I digress. What we're going to work on today, predominantly, is capping this room off. I've always envisioned this room as being a circular donut-y shape. It's a shape of some kind, guys. I don't know. The easiest way I can think of it is, it's like, picture this as just a massive void space that will be under our soon-to-be mountain, except it's not a void because there's stuff in it. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Um, but initially, I was going to do like a dome, right? Just like, go to plots that code at UK, not a plug, uh, but there will be a link in the description because, guys, if you need to build circles, it's the best website. Um, I was going to do a dome, um, and it was going to start at this level here. So this would have been our halfway point, and then it just would have been a, a half sphere. Semi-sphere? Hemisphere? Something like that. Um, but I was thinking, and I would, like, if I was down here looking up at that, I think it would have been too tall, um, and it wouldn't have matched what I have here. This is a very shallow bowl, and then we would have had a really big arc, and I'm not sure how I felt about that. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to try to not mirror this, but get it closer to how shallow this bowl is. So it's only going to go up probably about another 30 or so blocks. So it is going to gradually go up and then taper over to a kind of a, not really a point, but a central point up there, and then come back down. And it's just going to be a perfect dome, but not a hemisphere, if that makes sense, because it makes sense in my brain. Wow, that was snow. I really need to get Optifine working, guys. This is This is not fun. Uh, but I digress. Uh, Cash is trying to come up with some pattern designs for our walls right now. Uh, she was not happy when I asked her to do that, but that's that's what happens. Uh, I am at like a creative block right now, so I've asked her to come forward and, and help her brother out. So she's doing that for me right now. Thank you, Cash. <laughs> We're like siblings battling all the time. It's fantastic. Uh, but let me uh, let me get this thing in. It's about 10,000 blocks I need to place. Uh, and yeah, it shouldn't take me too long, because when it comes to circles in Minecraft, it's kind of my thing. So I will see you guys in a little bit. So, uh, guys, coming close. I did a derp. I derped up. It's been a while since I used Replay Mod. Uh, specifically in 1.16. Like, it's, it's still a relatively new thing for me in 1.16, and because I'm out of practice... Uh, I walked away for a few minutes as I was building one of these levels, and I forgot to hit the resume button, to resume that time-lapse recording. So, a lot has happened, and it wasn't recorded. So, I may use that time-lapse, I may not. We'll see what happens. But a lot has been done here. It's been right around three hours since I started this endeavor, and there's a lot to show for it. And it looks pretty cool so far. I love the way that circles in Minecraft create these... Tinier circles in Minecraft. I don't know what it is. It's it's pretty fantastic. Now, a moment ago, right before I started recording, my son came over and he's like, Dad, are you finally building the mountain? I said, no, it's, it's not a mountain. It's a roof. He said, it looks like a mountain. And I said, no, it's not a mountain. So welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to not a mountain base, as it is now officially dubbed. And it will change again, and I'll probably forget that I called it that in future episodes, even in this episode, uh, just because my memory is, is short. It's what happens. I'm sorry. Uh, but it's looking pretty cool. I'm really liking how, how this is going to look in the end. Now, I do want to caveat this, guys. It's not going to maintain. It's not going to be stone. It won't be stone. There will be some stone, probably. I don't know yet. But think of this as the blank canvas, like we've done in the previous episodes. 
in the previous levels to where we built the walls up in stone and then came through and replaced them with, you know, other blocks like blackstone and basalt. And Cash is doing some basalt stuff right now. I don't think she's... She kind of stopped, though. I think she's a little bit bored. I think she's actually in the above right now because uh, she's bored. I'm sorry, Cash. I apologize. Uh, but in the future, maybe today, maybe not, uh, we're going to come through and replace all of these blocks of stone with other things. There is another project I would love to get to today, and we'll see if we're able to, and that's these kind of archways over, or under under these bridges. I did this uh, little thing, I don't even know how many episodes ago. It's probably like 10 or so, 12 episodes ago. Honestly, don't remember. And we need to finish these. Uh, this one, I wanted to extend down all the way um, and connect it up. And uh, hi, Magma Block. How are you? Uh, I was going to do some more kind of industrial type ones on the other three sides. Uh, but I'm thinking I'm just going to go with this kind of design. Uh, there's not as much room as I wished there would have been for a more man-made structure here. Uh, so I think I'm going to try to mimic these results here on the other uh, other three sides and then, you know, loop it up. Uh, but I'm still getting way, way ahead of myself. I still have so much work to do here, at least another hour's worth. Uh, there's one thing I wanted to show, and that's how the scale. It's the scale of this place. Our trading hall would fit inside this thing with tons and tons of room to spare. And it's not even done yet. Like, there's still another 10-ish layers I need to put on this thing. Look at that. The roof level there. Yeah, it's insane. It's nuts. But this is what I do. We build big stuff. And as soon as we get this done, we're just that one step closer to getting this not a mountain base, soon to be mountain base. See, I forgot already. Uh, Complete. So uh, bear with me for a little bit. I've got some other high frames i've got some other stuff to do hi frames hi tps is bad right now guys i'm sorry uh i've got some other stuff you know finish this off and i will be back with you shortly ladies and gentlemen welcome to the lava dome that's right our roof dome structure is now complete and it is it is fairly impressive and in a way kind of cathedral like once you get inside uh but it's gonna change a little bit guys it's going to change a little bit and that's because of this initial vision i've had for this place since the beginning you can see i put in some dirt temporary blocks here uh what i wanted to do from the beginning is to continue this stone kind of pillar in the middle up all the way to the roof so it's kind of like an hourglass shape so cash and i have been working for the last few hours getting this shape just so uh, initially i had it a little bit lower at the top and that would have caused some issues connecting it up to where the existing roof currently is. Uh, so we've raised it up a bit, and it connects almost seamlessly at this point to where it's just a nice gradual arch that will happen as soon as we get all those blocks filled in up there. Uh, so the ceiling is going to disappear, which is fine. I've always, I never thought there'd be a ceiling there, but I just wanted to let you guys know that. Uh, what we're doing now, though, now that we have this shape in place, we're actually starting work down here connecting these arches like I talked about in our last clip. Uh, so I've gone through and kind of did a temporary guide to where I think all of these arches should look. Not the same um, on any of the four, and especially this one over here uh, by our Furnace XP farm. Uh, so what we're doing on this one is actually not connecting, up, connecting it up all the way to the ground level. It's going to start from the central bit and only go to the second level, and that way we have some pretty nice access into our Furnace XP farm. Uh, so doing this little bit shouldn't take too long. Uh, what I like to do and what Cash has done already on this first one is just building it out of dirt in this case and then replacing the blocks. And she's actually going through right now and, and making the blocks, oh, not the blackstone, but the basalt stick out a bit like I've done on this initial one. So hopefully when I come back after this recording, uh, we'll have all four of these done and then hopefully we can start work on this central bit because this honestly, guys, has been the thing I have looked forward to the most this season is getting, ah, that's lava getting this central bit done because this is kind of the focal point of our entire build. Uh, so hopefully everything goes well down here and it doesn't take us too long and we can get started on that bit up there. The four bridges that cross over our lava are now 
I'm going to call it mostly done. I'm sure there's going to be little things I see here and there over the coming weeks that I'm going to modify and change, but it's it's there now, so that's really awesome. I do like how each one is slightly different. Uh, so that was our initial one, and that one, you know, it goes all the way down to the ground level, uh, but you can't cross through it on the bottom. Uh, this one goes all the way down as well, but you can cross through it at both levels. Um, and then the other two stop kind of at the second level, so it's still open uh, to the third. I really, really like what Cash did here on this one, though, with this stalactite. And I think I'm going to add another one of these little islands right underneath it and make it almost like to where it was a, a pillar that broke off slowly over time. Uh, but, yeah, these bridges, they're looking good. I'm really liking what's happening here. Uh, but let's talk about the big dirt spike pillar thing in the room. Uh, so I tried for a little bit uh, to get these arches that I made myself to kind of look good. So I initially started just by placing uh, dirt in between it all. Um, and then I was trying to get this corner bit here. And it just it wasn't looking right. Um, so I used that same website uh, that does really great geometric shapes. Um, and I did this. And it turned out nearly perfectly. If I fly up here, you'll see uh, to where... It almost, almost connects up perfectly. If I were to raise this level up one more, it would just be flush with all of that stone. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm actually going to tear all of this out to include our, you know, because these things are no longer needed. Um, and I'm going to build this out of stone. Uh, what I'm thinking is since I need to raise it up one level, I don't want to... Uh, extend this kind of boxy area any higher than it already is. So I'm thinking about extending that three uh, wide bit there and making that two. Um, and I can play with kind of these kind of points later on. And I think it'll look I think it'll look really good. And then once I'm done with that, all I have to do is tear out the ceiling. Uh, so our dome is going to become a donut. If you, if you can envision that right now, to where it's just all of this roof is gone. So Dome did not last very long whatsoever, but, you know, we'll have a donut now instead. It's still not a mountain, though, guys. Still not a mountain. It'll just be a donut now. Uh, so I've got a couple hours of work ahead of me still uh, to get all of this out and then rebuilt and then torn out roof and craziness. But it's ultimately going to, I think, look really amazing. Uh, so give me a bit, a couple hours, like I said, and I'll be back and I'll show you these, you know, final, not, not final, they are not final results because there is zero decoration happening right now. Uh, just getting, you know, the the bones in it, as I say. Uh, so I'll be back in a little bit, guys. And as promised, guys, our dome is no more. It lasted less than an episode, which has got to be a record for me. Building something and then instantly tearing it out. Uh, but, you know, we've got this cool structure now, and it kind of goes into this cool little vortex thing here. And I have plans for something up here, which I'm actually going to get to next episode. We'll talk about that then. Uh, for now, let me show you, uh, you know, the fruits of this labor that I spent many hours working on. Uh, it actually turned out pretty well, I think. Anyway, just look at, look at, look at that. Look at that thing. Look at it. It's so perfect. I couldn't have planned, imagined this better than it turned out. It is just exactly what I wanted in here. Now, in the future, I do want to imperfect it let's call it that to where it's too perfect right now let's be honest this whole room is way too perfect when you look at this upper portion and then the lower portion they just don't they don't mesh well right now but you know in the future we will be roughing it up and decorating it uh i don't want to do that right now because of those plans i have for that middle bit i want to make sure the thing i have fits um and that's actually where i'm gonna probably go off to next because i need to plan some things out map some stuff out i need to make sure everything is gonna fit nicely inside of this central pillory stoniness of awesome. <laughs> I seriously don't know what to call it. There's nothing else to call it, though. Uh, but hopefully you can see this pretty well. I did add a couple torches just to get some light in here so you guys can see the, the full effect of this room, and I think it turned out pretty fantastic. I do love this thing. Cash came by a little bit ago, and she's like, wow, how, how, how did you do that? And I'm like, science. <laughs> um, uh, but that's it, guys. I need to get going. It's a shorter episode today, but I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Uh, but until next time, you guys have a good one.